Hey guys, Trevor here from Last Drone. Today I want to talk to you about Terrain Follow. It's an intelligent flight mode from DJI that allows your drone to maintain a set distance above the ground as you ascend a hill or a slope. So the drone is gonna constantly adjust its height using the bottom vision position sensors. So that's train fall. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a demonstration of what that looks like here in a moment. But real quick, I wanna mention that I wrote an article about terrain follow. You can find that at letusdrone.com slash terrain follow. If you guys are new to this channel, I try to provide tips and tutorials on your DJI drones and gimbals. So consider subscribing if you find these videos helpful. Leave a comment in the section below if you have a question or feedback on how I can better improve these videos and provide more valuable content. All right guys, thanks, let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is get airborne. You cannot access terrain follow until you're up in the air. Also make sure you're in P mode so you can access the intelligent flight modes, which we'll do now. Actually, before I do that, I wanna point out that I am in the frame, if you can see me, uh, directly center, kind of towards the top. If you see the height of the drone right now, it's at minus 100 feet. Now that's because I took off from where I am standing and I descended to the height that it's at right now. And if you see on the right hand side at the bottom, the VPS says I'm at 28 feet, roughly. Okay, so that's how high the drone is above the ground currently. And with terrain follow, the drone maintains a set height above the ground. So for instance, if we access terrain follow by tapping on that little remote control, tapping terrain follow, this is gonna give you a description of what terrain follow is. I'll hit okay. Now, as soon as I hit apply, that's gonna lock in that set height. So since there are quite a few trees around me, I'm gonna leave it pretty high. You have to be at least three feet or one meter off the ground and up to 33 feet or 10 meters off the ground. That's where the downward vision sensors work between three feet and 33 feet, okay? So we'll go ahead and hit apply and I will hide the menu on the right. Okay, so the only thing I need to do is push forward on the right stick. I'm not gonna adjust the elevation. That's what terrain follow is for. So for instance, here we go. I'm gonna start to head towards me and go a little bit slow since there are quite a few trees. I wanna make sure I stay above them. So if you see here, we are getting out of the negatives slowly and the VPS there on the right bottom still says we're about at 26 feet in elevation. So the drone is doing its job in terrain follow. You do have obstacle avoidance, but keep in mind your front sensors don't always pick up things like trees. So I wouldn't rely on them, okay? And on that note, we are approaching a tree. I'm gonna see what it does here. I have a feeling it's not gonna get above that tree. So, I'll yaw over a bit. You can still control the left and right yaw of the drone while you're in terrain follow, but this is a nice way to get, I don't know, a sweeping ascending view of a hillside. And there we are, look at that. So I do want to mention, I'll back up a little, it's probably a little bit noisy here. There we go. I do want to mention that this only works when you go uphill. If you go downhill, you will have to manually descend the drone. I hope that uh, DJI integrates a way for the drone to ascend and descend accordingly as you go up and down terrain, but as of right now, you can just ascend with terrain follow. Okay, so that's a, a quick demonstration of how it works. Now, if you were to want to track a subject that is going up a hill, 
I'd recommend using Active Track or even Follow Me over Terrain Follow. You're really pretty limited with this flight mode, but again, maybe you don't want to track a subject, you just want to get a nice cinematic shot of a hillside or something of the sort. This is a great way to do it. That's pretty cool. You saw that we were at negative 100 feet and it ascended just fine. I didn't have to worry about it until I got to the top here with the tree that's kind of large. I didn't want to run into it. Okay, and remember to check out the blog post that I wrote at letusdrone.com slash terrainfollow, and I'll give you all the details you ever wanted to know and more.